And hi everybody, John Daly here for news. We are in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. We stopped in at Boat Landing Restaurant near Sunset Park. We caught up with owner and chef, Ryan Duffy. So chef, how, how have things been going here? It's been going good. It's a little bit slower than last year, but we are moving along and we're doing the best we can and working with the mandates and all the restrictions and trying to social distance and doing the best we can. So folks do have to wear masks when they come in? Absolutely. Uh, from the time they walk in the door until the time they sit down, um, they have to at least have a drink or food in front of them and then they can remove their mask after that. And then we also require that when they go to the bathroom or, or traveling throughout the restaurant that they put the mask back on. Have you had any stupid people like me that would keep the mask on and try to drink a drink? <laughs> Not yet, uh, but uh, I'm sure it, it could definitely happen here in the future. And yes, we had our mask too. Of course, we had to bring some friends for some food. Now, almost every time we're here, we have the shrimp and grits. Why? Because it's the best in the region. But this time we decided to taste some of the other great fare and we were also very satisfied. Um, talk about the poke. Oh my God, that was absolutely incredible. Absolutely, it's one of my favorites. Um, it is a raw marinated tuna. Uh, we do a sweet chili marinade with it. Uh, it goes with a seaweed salad. We have some edamame beans, uh, cabbage, carrot, cilantro, and then a, a fruit salsa that goes with it as well. Now, one of the great reactions of the people we brought here was, that's raw fish? Absolutely. Uh, it is a sushi grade uh, tuna. Uh, we do. We do serve it on a daily basis, but it, it's it's very delicious. So, so I had the chicken burrito bowl. Talk about that, because that's that's got to be a favorite here too. I would think it absolutely is. It's a seasoned chicken uh, that we chop up and put on a bowl with some rice and beans. Has a corn salsa with some onions and peppers in there. Um, some fried tortilla chips and some fried plantains, and we top it with a chipotle crema. Not as messy as a regular burrito, right? No, it's uh, it's basically all the fixings, but we just uh, we get rid of the wrap and just put it in a bowl and lay it out and try to present it in a nice way. All right. So one of the big compliments you got was the fish and chips. Not only moist, but thick and 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 light at the same time too. Absolutely, it's a traditional uh, tempura batter that we do. Um, it's basically cornstarch and flour with um, a little bit of seltzer water just to kind of get the batter mixed together. And then it's a cod uh, as the fish, and then we just add the, you know, the, the fries and the slaw to go with it. And is the seltzer water kind of a little secret of yours? Uh, not entirely. It is uh, your your average, uh, like a beer batter. Uh, the seltzer water kind of adds to the mix, and it uh, it just helps to to put it all together. Yep, it is a great spot after a day at the beach. So here's the number here for boat landing. Give them a call ahead of time. Here is their website as well. We also want to give a shout out to the Brunswick County Chamber of Commerce. Here is their website and you can check out their restaurant site called Brunsco Bites to find all the restaurants that are available in the Brunswick County area. Now, don't forget to check out News. We are a citizen journalist site. If you'd like to join us, just sign up at news.tv. I'm John Daly for news. See, they're even honking for us.